Having awareness of different personality types and how to cater to these different styles is a must. A trainer will have many different types of people as their client, but must know how to personalize the sessions for that particular client. If you recall, the Institute uses the DISC behavior model, which categorizes personalities into four different styles. To jog the memory, we have the D personality, or the direct dominator, the I, the interactive innovator, the S, the steady relator, and C, the concise perfectionist. Each of these different personality types have clear and distinct behavioural styles, which become even more apparent in a training situation. So it is in your best interest if you can identify what your client is and how to best change the style of your session to cater for that. By being a chameleon, you are creating the best environment for your client to excel in. For example, if an I personal trainer continuously talked to a C client in I language, there would probably be a clash and a communication breakdown. If the IPT was able to understand how to best communicate and serve the C client, then rapport would be established and a happy PT client relationship would exist. So how do you go about training the different personality types? Firstly, when training anyone, it is important to be confident in your own ability to be relaxed, open and professional. The following tips are simply to help you optimise the personal trainer-client relationship. You must be able to identify what a client's primary style may be, and the screening process is a great place to start identifying this. Listen to the language that they use, how they sit, or what their body language says. Listen to the tone and tempo of their speech. Each personality type has a unique but predictable way of behaving. You will be able to get a feel for what category your client may fall into. Now once you have an idea, change your communication style to that particular type. Here are some of the key points to remember for each personality style. D, the dominant style. They are normally very direct and upfront and know exactly what they want. Their personality can be quite abrupt sometimes and can be intimidating, especially if you are an I or an S personality style. When it comes to training a D style, it is best to match their directness and make the session challenging and worth their time. Always pre-frame their session with an overall session goal and then set many goals within the session itself. For example, you may say, the aim for today's session is to do a full body strength metabolic conditioning session. Your aim is to do five rounds of the following, etc, etc. Avoid fluffy instructions or too much unnecessary chit chat, just get them going. It is important to give them activities or exercises that they can do well and is challenging without them failing. As such, you must remain in control of the session and be firm with them if they want to continue when they clearly should not. Do not be afraid to say no to them if it is needed. For example, if their form is failing and they are trying to convince you that they can continue on, tell them no. Motivating a D involves lots of direct words. You can praise them, but avoid being over the top. Also, be aware of how you spot a D. They won't necessarily like you putting your hands on a bar to spot, nor will they overly be fond of you touching them. However, if it is necessary and important to their safety, do so, but do it with authority. A D needs to be able to respect you. Never be late for them and be respectful of their time also. I, influencing and interactive. These personality styles love to have fun and do activities that are varied. Having a laugh with an I personality style is a great way to keep them coming back. Make sure that you have a variety of exercises planned, but ones that are not overly complicated. Often they are distracted and wanting to talk at the same time, so it's best to give them exercises whereby their full attention is not necessarily required. It works well to train them in busy areas and introduce them to other PTs, other clients, so as to appeal to their social side. Since eyes are not usually detailed focused, it is important to make them aware of your cancellation and late policies. Ensure that you ask them lots of questions about themselves, as they do love to chat about themselves, and that you compliment and you validate them. S, steady relators. The S style is normally quiet, reserved, and more cautious than its other counterparts. They value security and acceptance and need to really trust you. Their speech is normally quite deliberate and tends to be at a slower pace. 
So when training them, it is important to highlight the safety feature of each exercise and explain how the sessions have been periodized. If possible, avoid training them at peak times or in areas where there are a lot of other people around. This can be very distracting to them. They will require reassurance and patience and will tend to ask you many questions such as, is this right? Is this how I do it? Am I in the right position? And they will tend to ask this over and over again. When coaching them, take your time to explain thoroughly and ensure that your teaching voice is gentle and nurturing. It is important to be genuine and authentic all the time with any client, but being kind and loyal to an S client will go a long way in cementing the relationship. Lastly, knowing how to deal with a C client. So C, being concise and compliant. C styles are very exacting, analyzing, and like to do things perfectly. They don't tend to be overly emotional and as such can come across as cold. We often say that a C style is just a quiet version of a D, but more analytical and more detailed focused. Therefore, it is vital that a session is well planned and is adhered to. Again, whilst it is important to record every PT session, a C client will see particular value in this and is likely to ask you for all their data at some point, so make sure you have it. Avoid exaggerating or making generalizations with a C style. It is best to be precise, exact, and honest. If you do not know the answer to anything that they ask you, admit that. However, say that you will also go away and do the research for them. Do not try and make things up. Just remember that learning about your client is a work in progress, and over time the skill of analyzing your client will be developed.